It's more than just the flu that's off to an early start this winter season. A disease that strikes adults and kids alike is rearing its ugly head. It is called RSV, and Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Killer looked into the outbreak. Mark? Nick, RSV is a common respiratory virus that's become more widespread in recent months. It's important to know the symptoms, how it's spread, and why it's so vital to prevent it, especially in babies. Hi, I'm Dr. Pierce. How are you doing today? Hi. Can I take a listen to you? It's just a wellness yeah. visit for Samantha Kushner's 15 month old daughter, Madison. You're doing so good. Mom is glad to hear that because when toddlers are sick, they just cry, scream, and it's like, what's wrong with my child? She's trying to prevent Madison from getting something the CDC says strikes most children before they're two. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, which her nephew once had. It's a scary kind of process. And with your nephew getting RSV, it hits home. Yes, very. Pediatrician Ashley Pierce has treated a number of children this fall for RSV. Most kids bounce back from mild cold-like symptoms, but that's not always the case. Besides a runny nose, coughing and sneezing, and a fever, RSV can trigger decreased appetite and vomiting, among other concerns. It can cause some issues with breathing. So um, something called bronchiolitis, which is a little inflammation of the lower um, lungs. Pneumonia, too, which could land a young child in the hospital. Dr. Pierce urges prevention that goes beyond good hygiene. Besides frequent hand washing, you need to avoid potentially contagious areas. Especially in younger children, making sure, you know, we're not... Um, exposing them too much, so keeping them around sick relatives, sick friends. And child care centers too, because when it comes to RSV. You don't want anyone near your kid. I don't want this to happen to this little girl. Another precaution to take according to Dr. Pierce, don't let other people kiss your baby. And if you suspect your child is infected with RSV, call your pediatrician immediately. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.